Hello, this is Pastor Tim Spring speaking from the North Hills Community Baptist Church. I want to remind you of what you probably already know, which is that there will be no worship services March 22nd and 29th for the public here at the church. However, I'd also remind you that you can see the link on our Facebook page, nhcbc.com. That link will contain a live service that will be streaming at 11 a.m. on March 22nd and March 29th. Also want to remind you that there are people, I'm sure, in our congregation are going to have special needs surrounding the coronavirus, and uh, we would like to be able to meet those needs. And so we're asking you, if you're able, and the needs have not yet been stated, but if you're able and willing, uh, then to volunteer in some capacity, call the church office. You can also leave a message on Pastor Tim's phone or Pastor Ings or our church secretary, Beth Spence. And now I want to, for a moment, uh, talk about the situation in which we find ourselves in as we continue to be quarantined in various places. Back in the 1960s, there was a member of the Johnson administration when President Lyndon Johnson was uh, ruling. His name was Clark Clifford. He was defense secretary. And before the end of the Johnson administration, he resigned and became a Washington super lawyer, which many political operatives do. He became the kind of lawyer that you went to when you need certain doors open or certain people approached. And one day, one a man who was in just such need went to Clark Clifford's office and he told him what he was facing, the dilemma he was in. Clifford listened intently and after a moment or two said, do nothing. And the man went home. Two days later, in the mail, he received a bill for $10,000. Obviously irritated, the very next day, he went back to Clark Clifford's office. And in protest, he told him that this was not, not the thing to do. A $10,000 bill for something that advice that anyone could give. And Clifford thought about it for a moment and looked at the man and said, do nothing. Man went home, and two days later, another bill for $10,000 arrived in the mail. And the moral of this story is sometimes you don't need a super lawyer or you don't need to spend $20,000 to figure out what to do in any given situation. Sometimes we know what to do, and when we don't, we're reminded. There's a passage in Exodus 14 where the Israelites are now free from Egypt. They're on their way to the promised land, but of course their backs now are up against the wall of the Red Sea. It's at that exact moment that Pharaoh decides that he's made a mistake. So Pharaoh and his troops come marching after the Israelites, and one million strong, they look over and see the horde of the Egyptian army coming to them, which looks like it's going to be a veritable slaughter. It is then in Exodus 14 that Moses speaks. And the Bible says, at, starting at verse 10, as Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and they cried out to the Lord and they said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us in the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Good advice from a Washington super lawyer, but much cheaper from the word of God in the mouth of Moses. Do nothing. Sounds like it's counterintuitive when we find ourselves in a place such as we're in, but the fact of the matter is we can't do anything. But we can remind ourselves that though we can't do anything, the God we worship is at work. And we will rest in God. Join me in a moment of prayer. Almighty God, in the anxieties, in the news stories that plague our hearts and minds, in the uncertainty of these days, remind us to be still, to do nothing, to lean on you in faith, and to lift up our sisters and brothers in prayer. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Thank you, and we'll be in touch.